Yo, what's going on, everybody? Yo, I'm going to do this quick because I got to work tonight and I actually supposed to be sleeping. But um, since I couldn't sleep watching Hell in a Cell and uh, I had a busy, busy day, you know, it is when you're trying to get, you know, go to sleep and can't sleep, shit like that. You know what it is. Struggles of being a father, podcast, a wrestling fan and all that shit. But uh, give me a second. Um. Why the fuck is that coming up? Hold on. Let me see. Let me see what is coming up. Uh, all right. Let me make sure. Ah, here you go. All right, cool. All right. So, let me just open up. I don't know why it keeps doing it. It's a privacy. Let's just keep it fucking open and everything. All right. So, let me just share this to different groups and everything. Well, excuse the phone. Like I said, it's um, I'm only doing this because, like I said, I don't even have the lights up. I'm not. I don't even have anything set up. I have to see him on. on I was only going to do a ten minute rant about this. I'm not even going to run through Hell in a Cell because I'm saving that for uh the episode this week. Maddie and I will cover that. I'm not even going to go through all that shit. I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to go through basically the main event. Uh, let me just share this quick. Let me go to certain rooms and shit. Hold on. I got to do this because, oh, damn, I didn't want to share to that group. Whatever. Um, I, 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 I'm I not even taking phone calls. I don't even want to take phone calls. I don't want to take none of that because like, I'm doing a 10-minute rant. Uh, I just want to address the main event and I also want to tr- address the wrestling uh, landscape. Definitely. I, I just want to tr- address this, the landscape because every, y- y'all killing me. For real. Y'all. Y'all killing me. You wrestling fans are, are are y'all are worse. Seriously, y'all are fucking worse. I mean, I really, I really want, I I really want to like, I want to, I want to be with you guys and understand your 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 anger and your your pain and your suffering and what's going on. Um. Give me one second. I'm still, Mike. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be on hold on one second. We're still sharing it. Uh, I only got a, like I said, I only got a couple of minutes because I gotta go to work. It's crazy. <sighs> Just write out what you guys think. Um, devil's watching. Whatever. Let me share to my page. I don't even know if I shared to my page. Hold on. <sighs> okay. I'm almost done. Let me get to this. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through the whole spiel of 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 Hell in a Cell. You guys, you have to wait until the episode for that to come out. Um, Maddie and I will go through it. I'll just I'll just look at um, some comments here on my phone. I'll just look at some shit. I go through it. I'm not even sharing this on all all different pages because I know I'm gonna get shut out. So I might as well just like, all right. So, uh, all right. let me fix this over here. All right, cool. All right, so get to the main event. We have uh, the Fiend versus Seth Rollins, and um, introduction great, fine. I like the the whole entrance from the Fiend. Everything's cool. All right, boom. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. Uh, the red light. I don't know what the fuck was that about. I mean, it's fucking weird. Uh. As we can see in the past couple of weeks, when it comes to lighting in WWE, it's not fucking working. Uh, unless you're on Fox, and Fox has that perfect camera look, that 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 perfect um the the perfect lighting, it, it's fine. But as for um, one sweaty eyebrow, yo, um, yeah, I, I know, right, Ronda, I'm so fucking elated. Um. No, it's not working. I, 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 I recently. What was it? The past NXT, they had the um, the Velveteen Dreams fucking um his intro, and you couldn't see shit because the lighting's terrible. I don't know what the fuck they doing with this lighting bullshit. It's it's nonsense. You still can't get um the Fiend's entrance right right because, you know, you're shooting it from too many fucking angles. It's it's not necessary. Any case, let's get to the match. Match overall was fine for me because at the end of the day. 
that's how you want to book the fiend. You want to book him as this immovable object kind of thing. Um, you want to book him as this this defiant monster. I get it. Everybody wants you know. Everybody's everybody's hyped about the fiend to be this 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 this, this whole uh, um, metamorphosis of a different side of Bray and a, a probably a newer specter of what the Undertaker is. I get it. Fine. Then you get the match. The match was fine. If you look at the match legitimately without that fucking red light, I swear to God, that red light reminded me of like when you're at a what, at the eye doctor and you're getting that fucking retina in, in, like um um test going on and that shit is beating down on your fucking face. I don't know whose fucking idea was that. That shit was weird. And every time they put they book Bray in these matches, they book him in these weird fucking scenarios remember like in wrestlemania they book him in that that stupid ass but with, with, with randy orton with the fucking different images on the on the ring and the screen with snakes and, and the fuck are they doing with bray i hope i hope bray this wasn't bray's idea i'm trying to figure out it like it, it almost reminded me of like if like the early days of a microwave or some shit it just was weird like i don't know it was just fucking retarded um yeah, yeah, Kane had like that same debut, but then it just went away. You don't, uh, you don't have matches like that. If you, for anything, you should have just hit the lights, let them fight, and then if you wanted to hit the red light after the match went on, like or during the match, cut the lights off, cut it back on, and let it be like some pop up shit. Any case, both of these men back and forth. The match for me was fine. I, I was okay with it. You saw, you saw. The look of anguish on Seth when he um when he couldn't take uh, the fiend down uh, the back and forth the fiend looking powerful he took all the curb stomps took a pedigree taking all the shots he took it was awesome I was okay with it I was fine then we come to the end right uh now now everybody's in the uproar because. There's a DQ during a no DQ match. Okay. Quickly. The cameraman and the and the audio try to capture what the referee was trying to tell Seth. Don't do it. This is not you. Blase, blase. You're coming out of character. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. Then he hits with the sledgehammer. Bang, boom, DQ. All right. Now everybody's in the uproar, right? Everybody's like, oh, fuck this. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Okay. Um, you sideline fucking screenplay writers. You tell me how you would have booked it. And I'm and, and, and I'm gonna I'm, and I'm gonna give you this, because you have to do two you gotta, there's a there's certain variables you have to do. You can't quote unquote use the fucking word that you fucking marks like to use all the time bury the fiend you don't want to bury the fiend you don't want to bury your champion um you don't want to give the fiend the championship belt because then everybody's going to be on some bandwagon bullshit talking about oh why you give him the belt so fast oh he looks corny with it there's this i want to see what you fucking sideline fucking bookers would have done I'll give you a minute to think about that because at the end of the day, you're not gravitated to the fact that the storyline is still kind of massive with The Fiend. You didn't bury him because the first thing I started seeing on fucking social media was, oh, they just buried The Fiend. They just buried The Fiend. Shut the fuck up. You don't even know what fucking how to use the word buried is. That's one. Number two, you got a draft that's about to come up. You got a big name that just took the WWE championship on SmackDown. What the fuck are you going to do next? You got a couple more seconds to think about this because honestly, everyone's on the sideline talking about they could have booked something better. And I'm going to give you, I, I'll give you one. I'll give you one of my ideas I could have done because me being a creative, I could come up with certain fucking ideas. Time's up. Okay. First of all, this is your fault. This is the wrestling fans' fault. This is all you motherfuckers' fault. 
who were on social media for the past couple of weeks talking about The Fiend, The Fiend, The Fiend. When The Fiend should have just been this novelty gimmick that just went out there and was doing what he was doing. He was crushing legends. He was taking out the old school guys. He was popping up. He had his he had his was one to one with with Bray. I mean with um with Finn, excuse me. Um he's also dealing with uh Bray dealing with the inner demons. This is something that could have ran for weeks and nobody would have complained about it if he didn't have to fight anybody. Getting nothing. You guys. You guys wanted him because you guys went to social media and you guys went and you go you promote it. How the fiend needs to be this 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 contender. He should be the one that goes up against uh, um, uh, Seth. Put him in the title hunt. Do this. You guys did it. So then WWE does it because you know why? At the end of the day, they're already hearing the fucking all elite bullshit. Which by the way, y'all need to stop that shit too. And I'm gonna get to that shit that happened at the end of the show in a minute. But y'all need to stop that shit too. Stop with this fucking, this this allegiance to something. Align yourself with wrestling. You know who fucking doesn't like you? People who don't fucking like wrestling or doesn't understand why we like wrestling. That's what you should align yourself with. Align yourself with people who fucking enjoy wrestling. Fuck this whole, oh, all elite or nothing. WWE's a shit right. Bro, I watch any kind of wrestling. Even if it's shit, dog shit, fucking death match shit. If it's something that somebody's, hey, you need to watch it. And I'll be like, all right, cool. I'll watch it. Might not prefer it, but I'm going to watch it. Every all y'all fucking lames with this whole, oh, AEW for life. Um, fucking WWE or what? Like, yo, just enjoy fucking wrestling. I get it. You know, one, one, one man's fucking uh, piece of shit could be another man's jewelry. All right, fine, whatever. But... You know, automatically out the gate. If there was no All Elite right now, you guys would still be sucking WWE's ass right now, and you'll be fucking watching it. So stop it. Cut it out. In any case, going back to it. You wanted to do a proper booking for this. Because like I said, this is your fault. You guys wanted him in the hunt. You guys wanted him to be in the mix. This is your fault. So this is what happens. And now that you have him in the mix, how are you going to book an ending? Here's how you book the ending. First of all, they really didn't have an end game. Did it? Didn't have the end game because, once again, you didn't want to bury you didn't want to bury the fiend. You don't want to bury a champ. You want to give a ball, ballsy all out all out match. It's great. You even had it to where there was some kind of double turn possible. People were were hating on 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 uh on Seth, which is great. That's fine. You could have even teased the fact that because there's no real I mean, who's gonna be the real heel in the next coming weeks on Raw? Main event style. Honestly, who's there? You're not gonna fucking you're not gonna put Braun in that mix because people still like him. Right now who they're enjoying is fucking possibly Seth going back heel. Okay. You had that going for you. You had the numerous curb stomps. You had the pedigree. You even had the sledgehammer move. Rather than hit the DQ, what you should have done was have Seth mound everything that he had in the ring, the fucking, the ladders, the, 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 the steps, the chairs, everything. Put everything on top of that. Put everything on top of the Fiend. Have him pin him on that. And then Seth goes over, which is fine. It took everything Seth did plus a mountain of shit to keep Bray down, to keep the fiend down. Then you know what happens? Out of the rubble comes the hand. Out of the rubble comes the fiend. After Seth has this thought of, oh my God, I hope I didn't kill him. And he starts digging through the rubble, getting pulling the ladders away, putting the chairs away, pulling the broken tables away. After all that, he pulls all the stuff away, and out comes the mandible claw, and fucking you destroy Seth. You fucking destroy Seth. Seth still wins, and you still make fucking Seth look strong. And you still make the fiend the fucking monster that he is. That's how you book it. 
No one fucking loses there. That's the best look for it. Mount everything under the fuck. Hell, if he got a fucking ring, if he got to tear the ring up and tie him to the fucking apron with the ropes just to pin him, then you do that. Then you clear the rubble, and then he mandible claws him, and then he hits him with the sister Abigail on the fucking, like he did at the end, and then you have the finish. That's it. You, I mean, come on. You get, you, you're not going to get this, this whole braid thing over yet. You still have to work the character, the gimmick. He still has to get, remember, he's still a fucking novelty. And even so, the next come around, you can make it even a bigger or higher stipulation. Buried alive match. Fucking a casket match. You keep throwing all these gimmick matches at Seth. You keep throwing it. And if it comes to time to where, you know, the Bray, the Fiend wins the belt, he wins it. But if not, 